Although struggling to rank up can surely be an annoyance, being unable to due to performance issues often holds good players back from their full potential. Although upgrading your PC is the clear solution to this problem, not all of us are able to purchase parts whenever we wish. Because of this, we have created a list that is meant to help your performance right away and potentially unlock your full potential in-game. Hello everyone, my name is Dan and today I will be your personal performance guide. Throughout this video, I will walk you through the best ways to improve your performance in-game. We will discuss in-game settings in addition to PC settings that will directly benefit your performance in Valorant. Without further ado, let's get right into our customary question of the day. Today's question is surely an interesting one. Would you like to see Riot implement another role to the agent cast? For instance, would you like to see another type of agent, like perhaps a planter role that plants and diffuses the bomb faster? I personally would like to see more abilities that span across several characters, such as a faster bomb plan, because I think that it would make each class actually have more meaning. But what do you guys think? Do you think this would make the game unbalanced or more enjoyable overall? Let us know in the comments below, and we'll make sure to read as many as possible. First off, let's run over the obvious section of this video, the graphics settings. We all know that graphics settings can impact the performance of a game, but all of the words can sometimes be confusing. What is the difference between texture and detail quality? Vignette. What's that? Should I have V-Sync on or off? All of these questions can sometimes incentivize players to leave the graphics as they are and deal with the repercussions, or simply lower everything down as much as possible in an attempt to improve their performance. Both of these extremes are not ideal. While leaving your settings as they are may cause you to have lag, lowering every setting will remove your ability to gain crucial information in-game while making your game look very unpleasurable when it doesn't have to. To avoid both of these situations, let's go over the best possible settings that you could put in place in order to reduce your lag and improve your gameplay. First off, on the general tab in the graphics settings, you want to make sure that your resolution is set to max. Lowering this setting will definitely cause an FPS increase, but it will cause the quality of your game to significantly decrease and is often not worth the sacrifice. Furthermore, you should turn off every limit FPS option as this doesn't do anything but lower your FPS. With some systems, it may be beneficial to limit your FPS to one frame under your monitor frame cap, which can be seen on the resolution. For instance, if you're using a 144 frame monitor, max out your settings on 143. Moving to the graphics quality tab, here are the best settings. Because we don't have time to go over the exact rundown of each setting, this is a simple list that you can follow. Material, texture and detail quality on medium or low, depending on the power of your computer. UI quality low, vignette and v-sync off, anti-aliasing MSAA 2x or off depending on preference, anisotropic filtering 4x, improved clarity on, enhanced gun skin and distortion off, and lastly shadows on. Lastly, if you have a GeForce RTX 30 series and up and have the latest drivers installed, you have access to NVIDIA Reflex, which we highly recommend turning on as it has the potential to lower your latency significantly. This next tip will surely surprise some of you guys. If you have any cool skins, such as those from the Elder Flame collection, we recommend refraining from unlocking the effects on them. Although this doesn't cause a significant decrease in FPS, from personal testing, we've noticed that the passive shooting effects, in addition to the glows of the skins, often cause slight drops in performance. If your PC is in no condition to play the game past low settings, we recommend not purchasing these types of skins. Although they undoubtedly are more pleasing to the eye than the default guns, that's not what we're looking for here. Ultimately, if you're trying to get the best performance possible without having to play with the classic skins, you should purchase the cheaper skins without effects, such as the solid blue pack. The third simple method of boosting up your PC before we get into the more technical side of things is cleaning. The first method of doing this is obvious, delete large files that take up a lot of space in your PC. These files usually consist of large programs like Photoshop and Adobe After Effects, in addition to game files like the recently surging Call of Duty Warzone. If you would like to take this a step further, downloading CCleaner is definitely beneficial. This free program automatically deletes unused files from your computers in addition to cleaning out the cache from your programs. If you're unaware of what cache is, this is the saved data throughout your programs, like history and Google that is no longer used and is taking up unnecessary space. Furthermore, it cleans out some files in your computer that are located in deep areas that are hard to get through, which is always nice. Ultimately, this program allows for a simple yet effective cleaning process throughout your PC with little to no hassle. Furthermore, it's important to know that this takes roughly 30 to 45 seconds after the program is installed to run a clean, so it is often worth it to utilize this process roughly once a month for optimal performance. Another simple thing you could do that often causes significant increases in performance is updating drivers. 
Although there is no step-by-step -step method to do this due to there being different update methods for each driver, you can simply look up your driver on Google followed by the word update, and you will find what you're looking for. You should perform this action for both your CPU and GPU, as they both have different drivers that could be behind on updates. By doing this, you will ensure that your PC is acquiring the best software from your provider, which obviously is intended to provide the user with the best possible performance. If you perform these steps and are simply told that your drivers are up to date, don't be concerned. Although you may have never manually updated your drivers, your PC often does it for you. This step is more of a caution step in order to help those who are experiencing low FPS and frame drops due to something as simple as not having the correct drivers installed. The next option you have before having to enter the files of your computer is located in the Task Manager. For those of you that don't know, you open the Task Manager by clicking Ctrl-Alt-Delete at the same time and then choosing Task Manager. An alternative to this is searching up Task Manager in the search bar and simply opening it up. After the Task Manager is open, then you need to navigate to the Details tab. Once there, find Valorant and right-click on the task. You then need to click Set Priority and choose High. By choosing real time, your computer may experience some bugs, so more often than not, high will be enough. This will tell your PC to pour all of its resources into the game and ultimately do its best to make Valorant run smoothly. If your computer has several monitors, however, you should likely not push Valorant past the above average selection on the priority tab. This is because the high setting will cause your PC to dedicate too many resources to the game, which will result in other tabs such as Google or Spotify to lag significantly. Ultimately, you should play around with this setting and see what works best for you. One downside to this, however, is that you will need to do it every time you open the game since the format can't be saved in the Task Manager. Moving forward, you will need to dive into the Valorant file in order to further boost the performance of your game. We recommend trying to play with the settings that we've already provided first since they show a significant improvement in FPS. However, if you still want to boost your performance, here's how. First, you can increase the power of your GPU. Look up Choose a Power Plan in the search bar and click the setting. Once you're there, choose your highest performance. Depending on your GPU, this will either be high or ultimate. Optimally, you want to choose ultimate for the best performance, but if this isn't available to you, it's not your fault. Choose high and proceed with the following steps. Furthermore, you can remove full screen optimization in Valorant in order to reduce stutters. In order to do this, find your Valorant file by clicking on your Riot Games folder, wherever that is saved, then Valorant and Live. Once there, search for .exe on the top right hand corner and right click on the Valorant file and choose the compatibility tab. There, you want to disable full screen optimization. Afterwards, proceed to do the same on the Valorant Win64 shipping file. Right-click, Properties, Compatibility, Disable Full Screen Optimization. After doing this, X out of the file and make your way back to the search bar. This time, search up Advanced System Settings and choose the option with a PC image beside it. From there, make your way to the Advanced tab and proceed to Click Settings under the Performance Options. Once you've done this, you can set your PC to Adjust for Best Performance. Before doing this, however, be warned, this option will ultimately remove the cool effects that Windows provides when opening apps and scrolling through the taskbar, so it will make your PC seem bland. This, however, for some people, is the goal. By enabling this setting, although you remove some of the desktop luxuries, you will also gain a minor boost of FPS in-game, which will allow you to maximize your performance. After altering your settings for the best possible performance, another thing you can do is install Razer Cortex by simply searching up this title in Google and finding the website. When reaching Razer's official website, click on the Download Now button and simply go through the required steps to install the software. Once you download it, it will automatically recognize that you are playing Valorant or any other game once you open it and boost your performance. The way the software works is by disabling unnecessary tasks while you're in-game in order to ensure that your system can use all of its resources to boost your in-game FPS. If you'd prefer not to download the app, however, you can also manually complete this step by simply closing tasks that you don't need during the game. This includes Google, Spotify, Discord, and Steam, as they all slow down your PC a good amount depending on what you're running on each. Our final tip is surely one that can help you, but also one we don't recommend. What we're talking about here is uninstalling antivirus. Antivirus is notoriously known by gamers to slow down PCs significantly. If you have antivirus and choose to uninstall it, you will instantly see significant improvements to your performance. The reason we wouldn't recommend doing this, however, is because it puts your computer at risk of viruses. If you often visit sketchy websites, you will very likely get a virus quickly without antivirus. If this happens, you will wish that you have skipped this step because you will most likely have to reset your whole PC and have to purchase new parts. Because of this, you should only uninstall antivirus as a last resort in order to not make yourself vulnerable to Trojans. After boosting your FPS in game, feel free to visit ProGuys.com where our pros will help you reach higher ranks at a very fast rate. 
Furthermore, our newly implemented VOD review system removes the hassle of the experience by allowing you to simply submit a recorded video to our coaches that they will dissect and return back to you. With a high success rate, this will surely help you improve in-game, even if you don't have the best of PCs. With all that said, we hope that the tips we provided with you today will remove the annoyance of low FPS in-game. Although nothing you can do can double or even triple your in-game performance, these implementations are sure to increase your FPS by at least 15-20%, to 20%, showing a significant difference in-game. As you become better and better, we recommend that you purchase a graphics card if you don't already have one. No matter how many alterations you've made to your PC, nothing will cause an increase in performance like a GPU addition to your PC. For now, however, because not all of us are in a position to make this hefty purchase, the tips that we have provided should allow you to play the game much more smoothly than you were in the past. If you're still not satisfied with your FPS performance, we've left links to other more in-depth videos below. Other than that, we wish you all good luck and great games. Bye-bye.